Today we're talking about my experience over the last 10 weeks of growing out my beard. So I do believe that I did six short videos about growing my beard each week. I was doing a progress report and then I just stopped. And there's a few reasons for that, but today's video is going to be the final beard update. Now, not only am I going to give you guys the lowdown on my beard, but I'm also going to tell you guys about some things that I learned as well as where the beard is going to go from here. So now, although they say not to trim your beard at all, all for about the first four to eight weeks. I did so because I needed to look a little more presentable for the videos. And what I was trimming up was basically right here at my ear line, as well as my neck, and just kind of followed that all the way through. A couple weeks in, I also trimmed up the goatee area because that was fairly long and well, it just didn't look right with the beard coming in. So for 10 weeks growth, I am actually fairly happy with how this came in this time. Now on my month long check-in, I compared the last time that I grew my beard to this time and I will have to say that over two years, my beard definitely filled in a whole lot more than it did the two years prior. Now I've talked to some beard gurus as well as seen them here on YouTube and they all pretty much say the same thing and that is that just about everybody has weak spots on their beard. For me, that is my left side, particularly about right here to right here. It looks much thinner and even some of the hair feels like that it is a bit thinner than even the top here. But now as we go over to the right side, you'll definitely see that that is a whole lot better looking. It is very uniform all the way down to like right about here as well as it looks like it is thicker. And that's because honestly guys, when I just go like this, it feels to me like my right side is just a little bit thicker. Now that just might be in my head, but to me, it seems like it is just better all around on the right side of my face. Now what's actually causing that little area to look a lot less Thick. Well, honestly, I think that it's more density than it is anything else because my hair has grown pretty consistent all the way down at about two inches. So that is the same on both sides, a little bit longer than two inches in most spots, depending on which particular hair I was checking. And yes, I did check it with a tape measure. So <laughs> it's pretty accurate. Now, right here looks about the same as it does on this side and that's because i think that where the hairline starts to grow in at i have very blonde hair and so therefore it really just kind of looks like it's not thick because well it's blonde hair and therefore when they're not bunched up like they are down at the bottom here you get a much thinner look to it Along with this area here, I also found that underneath my mustache here is also fairly weak. Now, a couple things that I have learned when growing out my beard for the last couple of months is that one, I think that as long as you are using a moisturizing type shave soap, I think that your growing process is going to be a lot better because the initial hairs are trying to poke through that skin, which is what can cause a lot of that initial itching. So if you have nice soft skin, you're not going to get as much of that itching. Now, I of course used a beard oil and a beard balm as I grew out my beard and that took care of a lot of that itching problem. 
problems. Now, that's not to say that I didn't have any itching episodes at all. There was a couple of nights when I woke up and I was just sitting there, you know, scratching one side or the other because it itched. And to take care of that, I would just come in here, reapply a little bit extra beard oil, and usually within 15 to 20 minutes, the itching had subsided. Now, just like a mustache, I found that needing to train the hair to go the direction that you want it to go was fairly important in my case. I knew that my beard hair was probably gonna come out mostly straight, and so therefore, I knew that I needed to make sure that those hairs that were coming out at odd angles got trained going the proper direction or I would be fighting with that forever. So I made sure that I always had access to a good brush that didn't have too hard of bristles, but not too soft where they just wouldn't be doing anything. I found that the Can You Handlebar brush was a great one for my use. Now, as I mentioned earlier, underneath the mustache is fairly weak and doesn't really have a nice line coming down to the beard. However, what I did notice is that I think that I may have been making a mistake over the past few years of having a mustache. And I think that that mistake was me trimming off some of these little hairs right here. I was trimming those off, which is actually above my mouth line right there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave those and start incorporating them more into the mustache and just cutting off anything that is directly below the corner of the mouth there because I, that will definitely add a little bit more thickness to my mustache, which obviously will help it make it look better. And of course, I learned that two years can make a huge difference in my beard growth. And I was... 35 last time that I grew out my beard and I'll tell you what it didn't it would never ever have looked anywhere near what it does today if I would have grown it out for 10 months back then it would have believe me it just would not have been pretty so I'm glad that I gave this a go for the last 10 or so weeks. So the question is, where do I go from here? Do I continue to grow it out? Do I shave it all off? Or what's to come with my beard? For you guys that really like my beard, I do have to say that unfortunately, after trying a few things here in the next month or so, I will be shaving it back down to the goatee. Now, why am I gonna shave off the sides of the beard again? Well, for a few reasons. One of them is that this side over here is just way too weak and I just don't like the look of it. As well as I've got some shaving products to review for you guys. If I'm not gonna be shaving my face, that means I gotta shave my head and I got some products that I just would rather not use on my head and I really want to review them for you guys. So therefore, I have to have a face to shave. Now I'm gonna be probably keeping the goatee probably a little wider than I had it originally, and I will probably actually be keeping it more of a tight, shorter goatee rather than letting it grow out like I had before. I think that the shorter just looks a little bit more presentable, and I actually have enjoyed my goatee portion of my beard being this length for the last couple of weeks. But before I go ahead and shave all of that off, I'm thinking I may try doing a little bit of trimming up here and there, and just to give it a couple different looks to see what it would look like if I did a different style, rather than just leaving it as is to grow. So maybe you guys will see that, maybe you guys won't, I don't know yet. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little series of me growing out my beard. Once again, thank you guys that have complimented it and said that they like it on me. Fortunately, I'm just not quite there yet to be able to say that I want to become another beard channel on YouTube. And I personally like the shaving routine and stuff, so that's what's going to happen. Now, would I ever grow a beard again? I'm thinking... I'll give it another couple of years. In another couple of years, maybe this stuff over here won't be as thin and maybe it'll look a little bit better on me. And for those of you that may be thinking about growing a beard, I do have to say that I think that it's well worth giving a shot at least 
for four weeks, if it looks absolutely unbearable at four weeks, I would say go ahead and leave another four weeks because you don't know what it's gonna turn into. My four week didn't look that great, but I think that it turned out to be at least a presentable beard. I do wanna thank those that have followed the beard journey that I've had so far, and if you haven't, go back, check out those videos to see what I had to say about the beard growth experience and such. If you like this video and you need beard care products for growing out your beard or just maintaining the one you have, make sure to check out this playlist up here. Down below, that's gonna be a video that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.